Today I'm going to be testing out some techniques that I learned uh, by surfing the web. Um, and I actually didn't learn this one, I just decided I would try it both directions. But uh, people are taking top load twig stoves or hobo stoves and they're stacking the wood and then they're lighting it from the top and allowing it to burn down. That's cold water. Um, I'm going to bring that up to a boil and then see how long it will maintain a boil without adding any fuel. So grass here and I've got a little kindling and I'm just going to start a little fire on top here. I'm going to let that get going pretty well. I've got that stacked pretty tall. So I have to let it burn down a little bit before I can even put my pot on it. Okay, this fire's been going here for a little while. So I am going to set my pot on it. Now there's almost no room for air above this. So it's probably going to smoke quite a bit. But whereas I'm trying to create a fire that I could walk away from, I'm not really that worried about it. I kind of want it to burn slowly anyway. A little bit of fire on the edges, but you can see that's just completely packed full. And I think as that burns down, uh, the burn will improve considerably. Okay, right at seven minutes, and I think it's boiling. Okay, the water's been boiling now for ten minutes. So this water is sanitized. I did rotate it to take advantage of the breeze. Uh, if you keep the breeze flowing into the ventilation box, um, then that will just keep the fire burning hotter. As this is actually my favorite phase of the fire, is when it's just nothing but hot coals. And why I like hot coals so much is because they truly are smoke free. Well, this is getting cooked down quite a bit. You can see it's, uh, you know, I could easily add more wood here and just continue to work from those coals. But I'll see how long it goes without adding any fuel from the original uh, time of lighting it. Okay, so this has been boiling for a full 20 minutes now. Still pretty brisk boil. And I can still hear it boiling right now. And uh, I did it vertically on a previous test. Let's see if that'll get going. Well, I'm hoping it will draw air up through the center of that and burn its way out. I'm gonna go from the time I lit the match testing the actual technique of stacking the wood in here. And I can walk away from this and just let the fire work by itself and I can go get other jobs done. I'll go. Okay, the fire's really gotten going now. Yeah, we're at about seven minutes. And it's, it's boiling now. But, uh, from the time you... Okay, the flame has gone out now, and it's just the hot coals in there. So, and it's uh, boiling really nicely. This is Ash and Samson. You can probably guess who's who. What are you doing? <laughs> hey Ash, what are you doing? Having a good time? Is he being too rough? You being nice? Yeah, good boy. Yeah, you get him. All right, we'll check back. At the end here, 1454. I can hear this. Starting to slow down. It's still going pretty good though. 
Okay, so in order to sanitize my water, we needed to make it to 17 minutes. And we're nearly there. And it is still boiling. It's barely boiling now. I'm going to go ahead and try putting in, just sprinkling in a little bit of sawdust. I'm just going to move my pot back just a little bit. See if I can't see how well it'll work to just kind of drop some of these shavings in there. There goes the flame. So now it's not smoking anymore. And I put more in. Now maybe I need to just move the pot and put a whole handful in. I'm going to put one handful in here see how much longer that'll carry my foil. Okay, so that might get smoky because I kind of covered the majority of the hot coals. And then boil is being maintained right from the get-go. 1848. So that was one handful of sawdust. Okay, that handful of sawdust, let's see, 2119. I don't know exactly where we started that, so I can't tell you how long it's been going, but it's still boiling. One handful of sawdust. Sawdust is really very effective.